so I'm out here in the wind. That one's pretty hard. But it's helping me get a job done. And I'll show you what it is here. It's helping my epoxy set up. Just put this in here a little while ago. Probably 10 minutes. And it's pretty good already. I'm shaping uh, the plenum hell I want. Put all this epoxy in there. No more holes, fellas. But, uh, yeah, this is a big help. That wind is helping me uh, get this where I can work it. Because I don't want it to be completely uh, set up hard because then it makes it a little bit harder to uh, contour these corners and all back in that area how I want makes it harder then it has tendency to uh, kind of make this thing dig instead of uh, more or less sanding it down a lot easier with it a little bit not damp but uh, it's not completely dry it has a little bit of a sticky texture to it but uh, it's hard to explain. But anyway, any guys that do this kind of stuff, you know, I think what I'm talking about. Uh, body filler, epoxies, things like that. Sometimes they're easier to uh, shape when they're not completely set up. Once it sets up, then it gets hard for anything to... Uh, remove it um, got the wind blowing got a plane going over so I don't know if you guys can even hear what I'm saying here but anyway let's take a look down in there and uh, watch if this uh, how fast this here plastic goes out of here <laughs> it's moving pretty good Once I get down in there where the phone's not in my way. Yeah, that blows right out evenly. I had that uh, dust from grinding this epoxy there, laying down in there. You guys probably can't see it, but uh, it dispersed pretty evenly. That's what I'm after. Even distribution here. So, uh, this is modified quite a bit more than it looks I had these corners squared off and now I got them rounded in with the epoxy and uh, it seems like it's working pretty well so if you guys remember this was all full holes in here where I went through because I de was determined to make this how I want and uh, it's pretty much how I want it um, it seems like it works pretty well from what I see. So, uh, we'll find out how it runs on the vehicle, hopefully. And, uh, we'll see if all this work paid off or not. So, uh, sometimes things are worth the effort and other times they're not. This is going to be worth the effort, I'm sure. Because that air can just move around this plenum now. All nice and easy. I'll be showing more of that once I get this thing shaped in how I want. We might name this intake the Super Stealth. It's called a Stealth. But maybe we'll call it the Super Stealth. So, uh... I had other names picked out, but I think that might be appropriate for this. We'll see. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to work here. I'd like to show you a little bit of that real quick. I'm out here doing it. Showing you my working conditions with the wind catching me and blowing me around a little bit here. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's getting there. So, uh, thanks for stopping in and uh, checking me out. I'm going to try to get this thing knocked out today. Talk to you later, fellas. God bless you.